been very patient. Uh, Congressman Zeus staff has been very patient waiting for us. Uh, but when we had two members of the, of the of Congress come by, we had to kind of give priority. Uh, it's the way I feel sometimes at home with, uh, with kids and grandchildren, so I'm, I'm the last in the priority order, so I know what that is. But I want to introduce Mark Duffy from CSP in New Jersey. You can speak briefly. I'm from the Collaborative Support Program in New Jersey, a statewide supported housing program for people with special needs. We are tremendously impacted by the changes in, in, uh, in funding for vouchers, etc. We have over 700 people in our housing, and they're all people with disabilities of some sort. And it is very, very important for us to continue to, to advocate for one, the sustainment of those of the programs, because New Jersey, as everyone says, is a very expensive place to live. And the cost of, of putting one person in decent housing in New Jersey is probably twice as much as in the Midwest. So for us, the, we, want, we want our people to be uh, outstanding, to have great lives, and to be part of the community. And the community for us is a complete inclusion, not just on the side. So thank you very much. And we support the growth of this, and also it is very, very important that our people and all our New Jersey uh, folks uh, stick together and, and fight for the, the rights of the people that we serve. Thank you. I know I seem to be trying to remind everybody, but if you're in Congressman Smith's district, this is the time to come down so we can take a photograph with Mr. Valentine. So if you're in his district, this is the time to start working your way down. Please join us. We want to have a nice picture with a, a large group of people uh, from, from his district. So this is a great chance. Join us. And I want to introduce uh, Robert Hedden from Secretary. Yes. Trent. I mean, I have a Hi, my name is um, Robert Hedden. I'm a consumer of uh, Catholic Charities in uh, Hamilton, New Jersey. I, Originally worked for Princeton University. I worked with John Nash, who's famous for having schizophrenia. I myself suffer from bipolar disorder, and I opened up on campus about my illness, um, soon to find out that I no longer had a job. So I realized very closely that um, certain people were treated better than others having mental illnesses when one is no better than any other person. Um, so I began to be open. I'm currently an interim voice speaker with the National Alliance on Mental Illness. I'm a board member of NAMI Mercer. Um, and I'm using my voice to speak up for a group of people who have never had a voice until recently. And many of us here I see faces of brothers and sisters here all in a similar position of being homeless. We might have been homeless, but we're not heartless. And we care about what goes on. And government can only do so much, but we have to treat each other with respect and dignity. How often do we go by on the streets and walk past our brothers and sisters that are in need and act like they don't have a voice? If they can't speak for themselves, we need to speak up for them and represent them. I met with Governor Christie not too long ago, who uh, was a proponent of integrated health care. Uh, unfortunately, recently, some of the vetoes that he did are in total opposition to what he had, I had originally met with him about. So I would encourage you all to speak to your representatives, speak to your congressmen, speak to uh, Representative Booker and Menendez, and let them know that your voices want to be heard. Um, uh, this is a long story short. I lived in transitional housing originally with three other gentlemen. One was a Vietnam veteran. Um, homeless for many, many years. I talked to this gentleman. He saw some of the worst atrocities here on our own home soil than he did overseas. The way he was treated, we treat our own people is unacceptable in this country. Yeah. I'm in Washington, D.C., and I see homeless. Yeah. Side of the you know, I'm a light skinned brother, let's say, okay? We have a, a gentleman in the White House, Obama, who's half Caucasian, raised under white privilege. And he's not really representing me as a person that lives in Trent, is a minority in a minority community. When you're a minority living in a minority community, you're the other as well. And you're, this is I'm wearing a suit. Some people that wear a suit do not represent me or my interests. So I think we need to look past the color of what we were born into and look at the situation we live in and realize we've got to stick up for each other regardless of gender, race, whatever. It's a per people thing and human rights. And we need to look at the human rights violations that are going on right in front of our own country. So thank you for your time and we need to look out for your brother. I want to introduce Steve Valentine. He's the uh, legislative aide for Congressman Smith. He's been a great friend of ours. I've been coming down for 
years and years and years, and we often meet with Steve, and he's always been extremely helpful and responsive, and we're very glad to have you with us. Thank you, Dave, but I just want to say on behalf of Congressman Smith, thank you to uh, Ralph, thank you to Mar, thank you to the network for bringing everyone down here today. This is a huge turnout uh, in July. I think there's over 300 people here, which is yeah. incredible. So just wanted to pass along to Congressman Smith's thanks for your amazing work. I know uh, a lot of you may know he was chairman of the Veterans Affairs Committee for a number of years. And in 2001, he authored the Homeless Veterans Comprehensive Assistance Act, which spent over a billion dollars on helping homeless veterans. Uh, just last year in September, he helped shepherd through its reauthorization and a number of other programs to assist homeless veterans. So it's near and dear to his heart. Um, his apologies for not being able to be here. As you guys know, those schedules are crazy. And he's chairing the subcommittee hearing this afternoon. Uh, but just again, thank you, especially everyone from all the Mercer and Ocean counties who came out. We appreciate it. I do have to say, he is one of the very few congressmen that actually is doing something. He's pro-life, and when he says pro-life, it means once a child is born, he wants to take care of humans from birth till death. And that's what I respect. A lot of people are pro-life just when the child is in the womb. Once a child is born, no one cares about them. But Chris Smith is a great, great guy, so I appreciate that. We don't have a wide angle camera that far away and everything to get everybody in. 